you said it's been six months and you still haven't heard from your ex. And this also works if it's over six months to, I would say, eight months, eight and a half, and that's it. And you haven't heard from them. That's because they know you're watching them. If you take care of yourself and stop monitoring their social life and who they're with, and this is going to hurt hearing this, but it is the truth. It's going to be painful to digest it, okay? And But it works if you listen to me. You need to focus on yourself. They left you. And you know for a fact, is what you said to me in your text messages, that they're with the same person they left you for. Just think about that. They're with the same person they left you for. And it's been six months. And like I said, this can go to eight and a half and that's it. Anything else is a full relationship. I wouldn't count on them coming back. Um, they're happy. That's a difference. That's a different conversation. So, they know that you're watching them. Because you're watching him and you're watching the person that they're with. Because you just said in your message that they're still with that person. So... You have been occupying your mind, your body, everything towards your ex. You need to stop doing that today. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester Stern all over the world. And we are talking about a different, difficult topic tonight. And I will tell you what you need to do and how you have to handle it. And um, by the end of it, you'll feel better. You can continue to reach me like you have. 585-357-2409. Keep sending in your messages and I will keep answering them live like I am. So, you need to start focusing on yourself. Like I said earlier, take care of yourself. They fucking blocked you also, you said. Leave it that way. You're trying on social, me social media looking at using other people's phones like or you know different accounts we have to stop doing that because you're not going to heal once they feel your ex once they feel that you are healing this works for men women if you're gay straight married it doesn't matter rules can always be reversed once they feel that you are healing then things start to change with your ex Meaning, okay, they haven't been stalking me. They haven't been showing up. They haven't been trying to hit me up on social media. Different accounts. Um, using different people. Popping up at places. Calling them from different numbers. Leaving different messages. They notice that all that stops. And now time is going by. And... A person that is once in love with you and they just up and left you and been with the same person it is very strongly 100% possible that they think of you because they will be reminded of you going by a place or eating something listening to music um, drinking smoking whatever you guys did together shit like that will pop up in their head and um, then they'll notice that you're looking good because they're going to check up on you and you will not know it because they're watching you just like you're watching them. And that's why you can't get a hold of them is because they know you're still, you know, on them. And that hurts. So you have been, you know, doing everything you're supposed to do. Take care of yourself. Um, focus on you. And that's it. And what you have going on in your life, work. If you're not working, get a job. If if you don't exercise, you better start. Um, you could eat right. There's so many things like that you can do. 
and they're going to be watching and paying attention. And once they see that you had fall back, took care of yourself, and you're not worried about them anymore, and you're not chasing them, things change. Tables turn. And that's a good feeling. And that is hope, you know. Um, because you also stated that you're in love with this person. And you've been with them, you know, almost your entire life. And you're not used to being without them. And that hurts. Sometimes that can make you unfocused, unbalanced. That can make you sick. And this may not resonate with all of you so you don't need to click on and come on and talk shit this is for the people that are going through it so bye a couple of people had um texted me on you know the video i had did the other day like talking shit like it is not for you obviously you don't need to leave a nasty message and when i go to respond i can't like people so anyways you know, there's always that one person that, you know, always has to say something negative. Like, maybe that's why you're in the situation you're in because you're too busy pointing the finger talking shit. Like, I'm coming at you like that because you're making fun of my viewers and subscribers and you're not going to do that on my page or my show. So, so anyways, a couple other things I want to talk about with you before I wrap this beautiful Thursday evening up. I hope everyone's doing good. I am your girl and let's say you get that phone call or that text message and time has gone by over six months and you just started like getting your fucking life back waking up coming back to reality realizing that you are the bomb.com and you get that text message now I know you're going to be like, wow, like this person blocked me and now they're hitting me up. The reasons why they're going to be hitting you up is because they're checking on you to see how you're doing, to see how your attitude is, to see if you're going to fucking respond. First of all, let me just say that it must be 18 years of age just to clear my conscience because you know on here we fucking say it all. So... And we talk about everything, okay? So, you, you know, it's exciting because you have waited so long to hear from this person and you were so madly in love with this person and now the time has come and what should you do? You can respond, you know, you can see where you're at. And you will in your first, you know, a couple of sentences and you will know how you feel if you want to talk or see this person or if you just want to say, you know what, um, hope everything is doing good. Wish you the best and you leave it as that. Um, sometimes things do work out like that. And sometimes, you know, you end up back with the person you love and you need to set your boundary at that point in time, how you feel and how you want things to go, you know, like no secrets, no turning our phones over, no um, keep changing our passcodes, no bullshit, no little things like that. No, I call you and you don't call me back and you just send me a text message. No, you call me back and you need to make things like that clear how you want to be in your relationship if you choose to take them back. And um, another thing I want to talk to you about... Um, I am Angela Spranz. I'm the local to Rochester and all over the world. And you can reach me like you've been doing. 585-357-2409. Let me just put that out there before I end the night. Sometimes when you think about how this person treated you, that is healing. You know, don't hold it in anymore expressing yourself and talking about it and you can even write into me and talk about it and I'll be more than happy to text you back will help you and make you feel better you could always text the number that I give you 
questions you have when you watch these and I will respond to them and answer them. I'm here for you. Have a good night.